Let's go steal us a real-time review. People in the place to be, what's going on? It's me, it's me. Uh, we are going back to a bit of our roots here today in a good old fashioned real time review. What's a real? What made you decide that you want to do a real time review again today? Well, a trailer dropped. A trailer dropped um, that I for a movie that I knew was coming but had been coming for a long time. Um, I didn't know it was finally finished yet. It's starring a guy who uh, just as soon as I know that he's attached to something, I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'm going to go see this then, which was essentially the reason why I went to go see What Men Think or Want. <laughs> this guy's name is Aldous Hodge, a.k.a. Hardison from Leverage. Damn it, Hardison. Yes, that, yes, I'm a, I'm a Leverage head. Yes, I am. And, and I liked his performance on that show. And he became one of these guys who was like, oh, shit, he's in this. I need to go watch this now partially to support him, partially because I like his work. I like him. And and I heard that he was attached to this movie a long time ago, and I already said, you've got my money. Here's the thing, though. I say that, that's eh, a bit of hyperbole. That's, that's, that's hyperbolic, all right? That's uh, probably got my money, but at the same time, what am I going to see? Is the movie even going to come out? What, what What's actually going to happen? And so a trailer dropped for this movie, uh, I'm not going to talk too much about what the Brian Banks situation actually was until after we get into um, the real-time review for this trailer, uh, in which case we can go a little bit more in-depth to it. But I am going to explain to those of you who may not remember or may not have been here the last time what a real-time review is. You see, I watch a piece of medium, and I review it in real time, hence why it's called a real-time review. All right. <sighs> A little, I gotta be honest with you, it's a little intimidating. I haven't done one of these in a long time, in years. The one I'm watching kind of gives something away. I don't know if what it's giving, I don't know why it's giving this away. I, I don't know. But the one I'm watching kind of gives something away. Hopefully we're, we're gonna see what it is in the trailer. I have not seen this at all. I haven't seen one bit of this except for the thumbnail without his Hodge, damn it, Hardison in it. And uh, that's all I've seen. So I don't know what's happening here. We're gonna see it right now. I was accused of something I didn't do. And the truth matters. Why'd they Boy, tease the trailer in the trailer? Life. You need to concentrate on getting employed. Forget about football. When I was young, it was hard to see a way out. Football gave me an option. Brian Banks with the tackle. By the time I was 16, I had the attention of the NFL. The sky is the limit for this kid. So what happened? Why don't you play anymore? Brian Banks was 16 years old. When he was in here. Of a crime he did not commit. He lost 11 years. Scholarship. He was prevented from playing football. The system is broken. We have 10 months to clear his name. That is Greg Kinnear. The time they do not overturn your conviction, you'll be a prisoner again. I need something big, something extraordinary. Yeah. It's extraordinary that I'm still here. Yeah. I'm still standing. Yeah. yeah. You ever been locked up? It nearly killed me. How did you survive it? Almost did. And I met a man who showed me a different way. All you can control in life is how you respond to life. I know what I have to do now. My son is innocent! They tried to call me out. You think you'll get another shot at the NFL? Trust me, we got a plan. It's not over. I am innocent, and the truth matters. I know what the system doesn't Is that Sherry Shepard that they got for this? What happened to you? Brian's gonna run out of time. It's not over. I'll tell you what's extraordinary. I am. In August. Oh shit! So it's coming out pretty soon. That is Sherry Shepard. Ew. Ew. Really? Ew. MVP's ex-girlfriend. Let's talk a little bit about the Brian Banks story itself. Brian Banks is a classic example of 
guilty until proven innocent. He was uh, a line. They actually showed the school colors and everything in Long Beach Poly. But he was a a, a, a player uh, in high school. He was had a lot of promise, uh, and then was convicted of rape in a young girl. Um, I think at a party because she didn't want to tell her parents. This was this was the classic story that a lot of people of a certain political slant say doesn't exist. This actually exists, and it and it existed for this young man, and it exists for other people too. Um, so, and I believe part of it was he was too poor, really, for a good lawyer or to really fight it. So his public defender. Uh, as far as I know, essentially told him what public defenders tell a lot of poor people going through the system. Uh, just fucking cop a plea and get out of here and you do a fine and that's it. Or you'll do this and that's it. Or you'll do this much time and that's it. Or you'll get a probation and this, that, and the other. Just do that. You're not going to fight it, blah, blah, blah. Because the system is not designed to actually prove innocence or guilt. The system is too clogged with too many millions and millions of people across the entire country to actually get some form of actual justice or resolution. It's built primarily on deals. There's There are plenty of, of statistics that say that if everybody in the system fought the system, it would be too clogged up to actually get anything done, and a lot of people may just get off just on time, just, just by doing it. Brian Banks got caught in the system, essentially, is what happened. Um, through primarily no real fault of his own outside of being a kid at a party and messing with the wrong girl. Like that's really all it took. And he was thrown in prison. But the epilogue of the story was that the Innocent Project helped get him out. Uh, and he actually did get another shot at the NFL uh, with the Atlanta Falcons. So good on you, Mr. Banks. In terms of the trailer itself, uh, I'm a huge Aldis Hodge fan. You got Aldis Hodge here. You got um, Greg Kinnear here. You got Morgan Freeman, hopefully not just here for a paycheck. This is primarily going to be the shot for Aldis Hodge that I thought straight out of Compton was going to be when I heard he was in that as MC Ren. I thought he was going to have a bigger spot in that, and that was going to be his shot to show his dramatic chops. Turns out this is going to be it. It's interesting. As a fan, I've never met the guy. I'm just a fan of his. As a fan, I'm kind of nervous for him uh, just because I've been a performer in various things before. Uh, and I, and this is that, this is his chance. If this is his really kind of make or break moment on that front. And a lot of actors do that. There are, there are different actors who at different points have these, these defining moments that are either going to be the springboard to that next level where maybe their fan base thinks they could be or should be. Let's translate this back to wrestling. For him, uh, for Aldis Hodge, this movie is essentially the same as Randy Orton versus Mick Foley or Triple H versus Mick Foley or Shawn Michaels versus Mick Foley. Really, pretty much anybody, any future star in the making versus Mick Foley. Like, can you handle this level? Can you be this tough? Can you do this other stuff? Can we see you in a different light than what we're used to seeing you as and make you a more versatile actor and think of you as a more versatile talent, as a more versatile person, so that we can use you at different aspects and different th and different uh, 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 points in in our industry. That's kind of where this movie is for Alan Hodge. This isn't really a Greg Kinnear flick. This isn't a Morgan Freeman flick, even though his name was in the uh, trailer title. Which don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. But um, this is his moment to shine. Do I think he can do it? Judging from, and I've been recently watching old Leverage episodes, judging from what I've seen of him in different things, um, what men think or want or whatever, um, I can't really I can't really put the straight out of Compton in there because he didn't really do anything in that movie. Um, Leverage, the couple of things I've seen out as Hodge in some interviews, he's got the potential there. It's just going to be a matter of, does he overplay it? Does he overact it? And, and that trailer didn't really show me a whole lot of uh, whether he does that or not. Honestly, there were a couple of things that, I don't know if it was the cuts or not, but I couldn't really tell how well he was really in that moment and really, this is him, this is his moment, right? I, I, couldn't, I couldn't really tell, ju judging by how 
the cuts of that particular trailer were. So it's hard for me to say if I think Aldis, I have faith that Aldis Hodge probably can do it. I don't know if that's pulled off in this movie. And this movie's been been in development for a while, and it's just now coming out. Uh, I was looking up the cast list, and it said a 2018 movie, but it's just now coming out in August of this year. So I'm wondering what the delays were, if if there were delays, what the holdups were. That kind of worries me a bit, because sometimes some of these movies can be languishing around for a long time, and you see the end product, and you kind of see why. I'm thinking of uh, Andre 3000 as Jimi Hendrix, uh, is in all is by my side and that movie was in development for f- f- five six seven years and it came out and it was terrible <laughs> it was it had nothing to do with three stacks three stacks his performance was good the rest of the movie was trash the editing was garbage uh the directing was trash the it, it, the cinematography wasn't great it, it it was it should have been that again Again, for three stacks, it should have been that launching pad to that next level. But for whatever reason, the movie, the end product wasn't because the end product wasn't good. It didn't have any bearing against three stacks himself. It just wasn't what it should have been. And it didn't launch him into that next level. I don't know if this is going to do that. I don't know. Uh, so I, it's hard for me to say. I, I do know that uh, the first chance I get, I will be checking this movie out. Um... On a scale of, the normal scale of, out of my $15, honestly, because of the cut of the trailer, it's hard for me to say that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do an unprecedented thing here at Two Drink Minimum. We're going to take another look at it. The Brian Banks official trailer starts right now. I was accused of something I didn't do. And the truth matters. The truth matters. Maybe a bit of overacting. I hope. Got straight on getting employed. Forget about football. When I was young, it was hard to see a way out. Football gave me an option. Brian Banks with the tackle. By the time I was 16, I had the attention of the NFL. The sky is the limit for this kid. So what happened? Why don't you play anymore? Brian Banks was 16 years old when he was accused of a crime he did not commit. He lost 11 years. Scholarship. He was prevented from playing football. The system is broken. We have 10 months to clear his name. So far, the acting from Aldis looks good. Be a prisoner again. Of this trailer. He, he's, he's understated. He's, he's right in that real area. It's extraordinary that I'm still here. I'm still standing. Yeah. I gotta be honest. Stop. I gotta be honest. I'm, I, I, part of my trepidation is I'm a little worried about the kind of acting that I'm used to seeing him do in Leverage, which is a different kind of acting, because Leverage was on TNT, and that was, and it was a, it was a show that it was, it was really just one of these. It was a light show, right? And so the acting, the style of acting that you could do on that show that was perfect for that show may not necessarily translate to somewhere else, right? Uh, and I saw a little bit of that with Timothy with Timothy Hutton. When he was in American Crime Story, there's a there were a couple of little things that I think are Timothy Hutton's uh, uh, trademarks that he does a little things that he says how he pronounces his words the kind of cadence of what he does that were definitely his wheelhouse that I think there was like one or two that didn't necessarily fit the entire tone of American Crime Story. Um, even though I still loved it and I still loved his performance, there were a couple of little things that were like that's. That's Nate from Leverage. That's Timothy Hutton, Nate from Leverage, right? I'm trying, I, I'm hoping that I don't necessarily see this here because I don't want to see this here, right? But at the same time, I'm wondering if this is kind of written and produced to be kind of one of those almost hurricane type movies. You remember the hurricane? Hey, put me in here. But love, love's gonna bust me out, right? 
it was kind of cheesy. It was kind of saccharine. It was okay. It, w- it was good. It was fine. It wasn't that Oscar nod that some people thought that Denzel was going to get, right? So, um, just because of the tone of that particular movie, this trailer is kind of giving me that exact same tone. And honestly, the casting of somebody like a Sherry Shepard in there is kind of giving me that tone too. But as I'm watching this, I'm watching the second time around, I'm watching for Aldous Hodges acting, but I'm not getting the same style of leverage acting from him that I got before. Mind you, that was 10 years ago, right? So I would I would imagine and hope that he grew as an actor. And honestly, again, he was really the best part of what men want. And he, the tender moments in that were real for me. So I think this will be good. So let's go back to it at 116, starting now. How did you survive it? Almost did. Then I met a man who showed me a different way. All you can control in life is how you respond to life. I know what I have to do now. My son is innocent! They tried to call me out. You think you'll get another shot at the NFL? Trust me, we got a plan. It's not over. I am innocent. And Let's go steal an innocence man. project. I know the system doesn't care about me. But you didn't deserve what happened to you. Brian's gonna run out of time. It's not over. I'll tell you what's extraordinary. I am. Maybe it's the cut of the trailer. That's a little bit pedestrian for me. Uh, it's near the ending, really, right? You got the you got the semi gospel music playing. You got the you know the 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 the, 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 the really honestly kind of try tired trailer thing with the doom 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 right on everything, right? It's like listen, if I'm gonna like it, I'm gonna like it. I like Aldis Hodge. I like Morgan Freeman. I like Greg Kinnear. I can tolerate Sherry Shepard if she's not in it a ton. <laughs> and chewing up the scenery a ton. Watching this the second time, my initial fears are quelled. And I, on a scale of, out of my $15, considering the Sherry Shepard factor, but also taking into consideration the Kinnear, Hodge, and Freeman factors, this will, this looks like it deserves, but also taking in the music and how the trailer's cut, this looks like it deserves 12 of my $15, which is not bad, which is not bad at all. 12 out of my $15 out of hand. I am going to see it because fucking out is Hodge leverage. Like, come on, of course, fucking damn it, Hardison. I wasn't going to spend my money on another movie, but damn it, Hardison. Now I'm going to see this. Party people. I need a couple things from you. I need you to tell me how you feel about this trailer. I need you to tell me if you've even heard of the Brian Banks story, if you've heard of Aldous Hodge, Leverage, any of the people that I was talking about, how you feel about my thoughts on the subject. What are your thoughts on the subject? Does this trailer look like something that you might go see? Does it look like something you might catch on Netflix? Does it look like something you might catch on Redbox? Does it look like something you might actually spend money to go to the theater to see. I certainly am, okay? Regardless of what I said here, I am giving it my entire 15 out of $15. The rating for that trailer is about 12 out of $15. Considering all the good nature that most of the people involved with have given me as a viewer and consumer so far, 12 out of $15. I wanna know what you think about it down there in the comments section. Like, share, subscribe. Do me a favor, go to Subscribestar. Oh yes, your boy, Surreal469 is on multiple platforms for you to be able to support and keep the lights on at the party. Not only is there Patreon, not only is there PayPal, but there is Subscribestar. Not only are there the links, the Amazon, the the, the Groupon, the the the, the other thing, the, 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 the Subscribestar though. Go to Subscribestar, follow the links there, help keep the lights on at the party, see how they do business over there, see how Patreon does business over there, Either way, you're helping to keep the lights on at the party. You're helping to keep the drinks flowing at the party. You're helping to keep stuff like this coming to you right now, live and in living color, if you will. Yes, you are. And that's super important, especially in this world of conglomerates being the number one YouTubers around. We got to stick together, right? Right. Tell everybody that you know to come on over to the party. Check out Surreal469 on literally everything. 
<laughs> help get the counts up, help get the views up, help get uh, certain privileges on certain websites back over to the party, such as live streaming and all these other things that they changed the rules of in the last couple of years since I've been gone. You want that stuff back? You got to do your part. Go down there and all these descriptions link everywhere. Flood the entire marketplace with this pretty money maker and help keep the lights on to the party and party people that won't be bad. Till next time. Oh, I can't do I can't do a cheers when there's nothing in the glass. That's sacrilege. Let's try this again. Until next time, cheers.